everybody, it's me, Ghost Critic, and I'm here with my pick of the week video. If you want to know why you can only hear my voice, not see my face moving around and being all animated, then go and check out this Friday's full comic book review video where all is explained. But this week, it's about Grant Morrison, Chris Burnham with... Nathan Fairburn's issue three of Nameless. This is a creepy ass book, but in a totally completely different way than what Scott Snyder and Jock's Witches is doing, because they are both doing very much a kind of horror comic type book. But one is very grounded, one is very family based, one is kind of I guess you could say relatable, and that's your witches. However, Grant Morrison, being Grant Morrison, takes us out into space, makes it completely unrelatable to the reader, but still manages to creep you the F out. Oh my God, just from the first page, we have the the scientists, the army guys, our main kind of nameless character flying over this kind of Grand Canyon kind of landscape. And from the formation of the rocks, there is this kind of skull faced looking up at them. And just the three words, everything is normal. Well, I know it bloody well isn't. Um, we have our crazy ass scientists, um, businessmen, army men, all going to do what they really shouldn't be doing and is opening that gate because nothing that is locked in something that big and sinister is ever going to be good that comes out of it. Please stop now. But they don't. Oh my goodness. They open that door and everything gets quite freaky. Um, it's very intense. It's very dark. It's very foreboding. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Um, just scared the crap out of me. I, I'm not often one to say this, but this is a comic book they need to make a film of. Not a TV series, a film. Pick up the rights to this book um, and just make it the most badass sci-fi horror movie you possibly can because Grant Morrison gives you everything here. There is your mystical signs. You've got your crazy slasher, um, freaked out... Um, killers you've got big ass eye monsters um you've got some sort of infectious disease um trippiness abounds everything looks like it's totally screwed by the end of this issue and then uh, you have our main character wake up in what appears to kind of be um, a hospital and you wonder, has all the rest of this shit been real? Has he just hallucinated it all? Um, have they got back all okay? Was it just a dream? And then these freaks come through the door, these eyeless, mouthless people who want to put our main character in a straitjacket. One's got a bloody sword. They're all covered in blood. And then you just see these crazed, scary faces of torsos with arms ripped off, legs ripped off, um, kind of creepy ass veins coming out. Uh, and oh, they, There is so much that I enjoy in this book. It's all gloriously rounded off with uh, Chris Burnham and Nathan Furburn doing a bang up job on the artwork. They just have this way of making a dank, dark tunnel look like somewhere you know you don't need to be going down. I've got myself quite worked up just talking about it now. Um, I wasn't 
100% sure when um, I started picking up Nameless. I knew it was going to be Grant Morrison and I knew it was going to take a while for this to kick off uh, and kind of figure out what was going on about. But with Grant, Mar Grant Morrison, you have to wait around a little bit. It will pay off. It will be good. This is good. Go pick it up now. It's my pick of the week. Thank you for listening.